soon as you're signed up with SendGrid, you'll want to be on a paid account. You'll need to authenticate a domain. If you're on a new account, you'll probably see some pop-ups, some modals asking you to authenticate. Just in case you don't see it, you can find it in the settings under Center Authentication. Click here, and what we're going to use is the Authenticate Your Domain option. Click Authenticate Your Domain, choose your DNS host, in this case, mine's Google. Would you like to brand the links for this? No. And then this is going to be the domain that we send from. So in this case, it's dub1. This is going to be your business domain or the new domain that you're warming up specifically dedicated to email using automated security. Next. Now we're going to take these records and copy them over into your DNS settings. So click, um, depending on which option you're in, your DNS settings will be just slightly different, but the layout is almost always exactly the same. So go to create a record. This first field host, it's usually called host, sometimes it's called name, sometimes it's called something else, but it's usually always the first one that you need to populate. The other one will be the type. The type is almost always the type, and in this case, it's going to be C names that we're creating. You copy the host, paste, then you copy the value, and then paste. And then we do this three more times, or two more times. Type is C name, copy, paste, copy. And it's actually recommended that you probably use a shorter time to live, such as 10 minutes. That way this thing can go live a little bit quicker. So save. And then we're going to do another one. So you'll do this these three times. One, two, three copy and paste each of those records over we just have the one left may as well finish it and then once these records are created then we're going to click this verify on this end now this will not happen right away typically you will need to wait some time if you selected 600 then you'll likely need to wait at least that much time Sometimes it happens quicker. So once you're done over in SendGrid, you're going to click I've added these records. Rec click I've added the records and then click verify. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. If you get this message that says we didn't see the record there yet, you'll need to wait some more time for this to populate. And if you're still having issues, ensure that you copied each of the records over carefully. One, two, three, one, two, three, in the way that I showed you here.